Chapter 12. Home Run. 10.49 a.m. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? You never come outdoors. Mom said I had to, said Doug, who hate leaving his computer for anything but school or dinner. Alex ran into Doug and Quan in the back when Rex bolted out the trees and chased a squirrel. Alex had decided to go with the name Rex to see if the dog would eventually answer to it. If that didn't work, he'd try a different name tomorrow. This was perfect. He couldn't wait to show off his new dog. If only he could find him. Alex glanced around. Some boys were hitting the grounders with tennis balls over a nearby baseball diamond, but the rest of the park was empty. He couldn't spot Rex anymore. My mom told me that I could sit in front of the TV all day, Doug grumbled. My mom said the same thing. Yeah, but this time, she actually unplugged it. My mom's acting all weird too, Alex chimed in. He shook his head. Parents. Quan and Doug nodded. Alex heard a bark and spotted Rex rolling on his back in the outfield grass, wiggling and kicking his paws in the air. Nunu saw him too and giggled. Look at that dog, said Quan. What a doof. That's Rex. He's mine, Alex said proudly. Quan's eyebrows shot up. Doug's jaw fell open. Alex ate it all up as his two friends stared at him in total disbelief. No way. Your parents actually got you a dog, said Quan. Nunu started to correct them. We found him on the road. He's my birthday dog, Alex interrupted. Shouting erupted from the baseball fields. Alex turned to see Rex racing across the glass, chasing down the line drive's tennis balls. No, boy, stay! Alex was off and running in an instant. Those kids on the ball field looked big, and they wouldn't appreciate having their balls stolen. The outfielder, a tall, squinty-eyed, redhead kid, chased after the ball, and Alex turned after the afterburners. The dog, on the other hand, didn't even look like he was trying. He looped across the grass, easily outraced them all, and gobbled the ball up, sweeping into his jaws and with that huge tongue. He turned without missing a beat, sprinted straight back, and dropped in surprise to catch at Alex's feet, where it landed on a soggy plop. Alex splinted up the ball, and just as the redhead outfielder came running up, he was even bigger up close. At least a seventh grader. Alex held the wet ball. Sorry, he murmured. The redhead kid squinted at the ball, then took it back. The dog stared at the ball with a laser-like focus, hoping for another round of fetch. The redhead boy want- watched him with the dog, and then broke into a smile. No sweat. He made a good catch. Alex grinned with relief and scratched Rex behind the ears. Hey, guys, you want to play? Really? Alex glanced at Doug and Quan. Three more and we have a five aside. I'm in, shout, Doug shouted. Alex threw him a funny look as he ran past. This is the first time I've ever been picked for baseball. Let's go before he changes his mind. It wasn't the greatest game ever, but no one had ever had fun, more fun with a skinny bat and a tennis ball covered in dog goober. Quan got three hits, scored one run, and made two putouts. Doug dropped two fly balls, struck out twice, and got hit in the chest by a line drive. L- and let five grounders go between his legs, but he never once stopped smiling. Nunu watched from the dugout, sitting on Alex's backpack so she could see the field. Rex struck, stretched out in front of her, his big head on her lap. Alex had never, never had a single strike. Every swing of the bat connected. He hit a triple, a ground out, and two doubles. And the bottom of the ninth, he connected a long, long line drive that was still rising as it flew over the center field's head. Yes! Center. Alex pumped his fist and started jogging around the base. No way the outfielder could get it to this time. It was a sure home run. He was playing skins, and his shirt had tied around his head as he ran. The sleeves swung like an elephant's trunk. Then he saw Rex go tearing after the ball. No! cried Alex. Yes! cried the other team. Rex got the ball, hovered it up, and started back towards Alex. Alex saw him coming and broke into a sprint. The dog seemed to think this was part of the game and turned on the juice as Alex rounded a second base. Rex passed the center field and was closing fast. Come on, bring it home, cheered the 
other team as they frankly waved the dog in. He's at second! Move it! Alex's teammates shouted. Alex hit the third base and rounded the corner without breaking a stride. Rex headed straight to the infield to him. It was like a game of fetch, but the players looked... To the players, it looked exactly like he was trying to beat the runner and make a tag at home plate. Alex lowered his head and pumped his arms. Rex leaped the pitcher's mound on one stride. This was going to be close. Out of the corner of his eyes, Alex saw a yellow-brown blurch racing in. Alex tucked his knee and slid for home, throwing up a cloud of dirt. Then they both vanished inside the swirling dust.